Uh, I mean, this is exciting. It's awesome, you know. Uh, not the ultimate goal for gold, but I was determined to come out, get a medal, try to do my best I can for Team USA. Um, just being able to finish that match uh, the way I did, just I told myself I'm gonna go out there, you know, give it all. I have six minutes, you know. I mean, if I get the tech, I get the tech, but I was just going, going, going. So, you know, all the work that I've been putting in, you know, getting this result, coming back with the bronze, you know, it still shows I have room to improve, but I'm right there. I'm right there with uh, the best uh, wrestlers in the world. Talk about your journey this year a little bit. You know, not making the team at 86. You gained weight classes a couple times now. And, you know, how you feeling at this weight? Um, I feel good. I mean, I'm light. I weighed in at 88 kilograms. You know, four kilograms under under my weight class, but it's helped me grow. Uh, you know, into, I think, Olympic year, into my weight class for 86 kilos when I go back down, you know, make me a little little bigger, but it's all learning for me, you know, this is the fun part, coming out here and being able to compete. Uh, so after losing, you know, just reevaluate what I have to do, what I, what, what are my chances, and I was blessed with this opportunity, you know, I never shied away. As soon as I realized I could go 92s, I'm like, let's do it. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm gonna go compete as much as I can. Uh, for the ultimate goal in 2024, but you know, there's a lot of people I have to thank, and I want to make sure before I forget, just you know, my son kiss, you know, keeping me throughout this journey, you know, helping me strive for greatness and my dream. Uh, you know, Kim and Art Martori, uh, then my coaches, you know, Mark Perry, you know, the best tactician out there. He's for sure evolving my wrestling in many different ways. My teammates, uh, you know, pushing the grind on me every day. I have multiple co partners come in after before their own practices you know the college kids uh my brother my little brother who I took as a training partner came all those all the way over here you know he's been doing everything for me throughout this trip just knowing because i mean this is uh, part of his dream too he wants to be the best as well so i think this is a great experience uh my family uh that support system i have my girlfriend just everyone that's been around my life that you know brought me to who i am and thank God for the opportunities, you know, they blessed me, he's blessed me with the people that's around me, and uh, oh man, I'm just so happy and happy for the people that I got to do it with. Can you talk about your opening match with the Iranian, a match that you lost a couple months ago, Yeah. we were able to flip the script there, just take us through that match, crazy match, right, take us through it. Heart, heart, you know, I, uh, that one felt really good, probably the best match, uh, proudest moment, of my world championships, I mean, that was awesome, you know, finishing off with the bronze, but, you know, losing to him in Budapest in that ranking event, um, knowing that I could beat him, I'm right there, and I came out strong, um, and he came out real strong, too, but uh, just grinding it out, even when I was down, you know, I hear my coaches saying, you got this, you're still in it, let's see that heart, uh, just grit it out, and I did, I was stuck underneath him a couple times, I was able to persevere, uh, and get my takedowns and, and, and the win, you know. That was a good stepping stone, and I felt good, you know. Wore me out a little bit for my second match, but it happens, and that's just a learning process of what I have to do, what I need to recover, whatever, but I'm happy with my result, and it's just gonna make me grow. Who is the best guy you've ever wrestled? The best guy I've ever wrestled? Well, it would have to be, in, in total, it would have to be either you know, I've wrestled Jordan Brolin, I've wrestled David Taylor in my life, and they're two of the greatest wrestlers ever, so, and I got to be a part of that and got to be able to wrestle them, so it's amazing, and I'm still gonna, you know, compete for the 86 spot, so I'll have a chance to wrestle them again, and we'll see how it goes, it's gonna be fun. Thank you, man. Yeah.